is each and every Monday. Good morning to you, Donald. Good morning. Uh, what do you what do you make of where we are in the fiscal cliff right now? We're less than a month away. Both sides are a million miles apart. And uh, John Boehner says he was flabbergasted when he heard Tim Geithner's proposal. Well, I don't really think the Democrats want to make a deal. They should have never been put in this position. If you remember on your show, I said, don't let this happen between fiscal cliff and, and all of that. what's happening now. Don't let it happen after the election. Let it happen before the election. He did. Because, as you remember, Obama would have no chance of getting elected if this happened. So I said it must happen before. They allowed it to happen after. The Democrats now don't care. I think they want to go over the cliff, raise right. taxes, and that's going to be the end of that. I don't see the Republicans having the cards. Other than they do have a debt ceiling card a month later. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, that's something that should have happened before the election. And if you remember, on your show I was saying... Don't let this, from a negotiating standpoint, this was a total disaster. And by the way, the little girl, I yeah. thought it was amazing the way that dolphin released her yes. immediately. Good point. When he yeah. realized. And, you know, I smell lawsuit coming all the way. Yeah. And I think it's a shame because that dolphin went after the box and obviously released that little girl beautifully. Yeah. So and he's I think the dolphin really has to give, be given a lot of credit. Very if well trained. Right. Yeah. And if, we give the, if you see that dolphin, pet him. Uh, well, that, that dolphin looks pretty well, good. Well, they to are very that. used to being. But you know, the dolphin with SeaWorld is the economy in Florida, too. That's a great place. It's one of the great places to bring for kids. You, the lines are actually short. You get on stuff. Well, right. but when you watch the beauty of that, I mean, the dolphin absolutely had the hand by mistake and then just immediately released it. I thought there was something very beautiful about that. Wouldn't it that. be nice, uh, Mr. Trump, wouldn't it be nice if uh, Tim Geithner and John Boehner could behave in a similar fashion? Just, like the dolphin. Yeah, like, well, well, like, <laughs> a, you know, <laughs> bite, <laughs> bite each other from time to time as they did on the Sunday talk shows. But then let's just get this deal done. What do you say about that? Well, I don't, I'm not sure you're going to have a deal. I think the Democrats are sitting back and they're going to take the full package and then they're going to negotiate after taxes get raised, they'll negotiate. And again, they'll be in a very strong position. So I really think that, you know, and I felt strongly from two years ago, from a long time ago, don't allow this deal to come due after the election. You will make a great deal. You have all the cards before the election. You have none of the cards now. I think yeah. the Democrats would not mind going over the cliff, raising taxes, and lots of things right. happen. And you, you, know know what's amazing, you know what's amazing, Donald, is that the President of the United States on Friday goes to a Tinker Toy factory, goes out to the same U2 music he was campaigning with, used the same rhetoric and the, the, the dumb analogies of coal in your stocking and who's on my naughty list. I mean, we're, who's the audience that's buying this? Well, you've got to give him credit. He got elected, and the Republicans did not resonate with the people. Yep. And uh, whether you like it or not, whether you like him or not, he got elected, and uh, he played populist. He played lots of different things, but he won. You know, Vince Lombardi said sure. it's all about winning. And he did win, and that's what we have right now. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, the Democrats have all the cards because the Republicans allowed this negotiation to come right. due after the election, which was a huge mistake. Well, one of the things that Tim Geithner presented to the Republicans was uh, a gigantic stimulus. In, in the country of Brazil and South America, they've, you know, they've been pumping money into the economy, and now uh, you know, the estimates on how things have slowed down in Brazil have really shocked people. Well, it's very artificial. I mean, we've proven that the stimulus, not all of it, but very large portions of it, it's artificial. It's make peace. It's not going to work. It didn't work for us, and it certainly is not working, maybe even to a lesser extent than Brazil. Yeah. Brazil's becoming a disaster. They're going to spend all their money on stimulus, and yeah. they can't do that. Even though they're self-perpetuating energy. It's stimulus very, in this, very uh, artificial. There's stimulus in this other new package presented uh, by, the, by the Democrats, even though they're not calling it stimulus. Uh, let's bring in, what are the chances that we have your beautiful daughter here? <laughs> Look who's here! A successful oh, very, corporate very woman, uh, very, Ivanka. Very He's going to be upset I'm not yet in the office. Oh, yeah, you're <laughs> in trouble. It's 740, honey. You know, exactly. there, was, there was this big hullabaloo a couple weeks ago uh, that said that, that the, the kids went and, and saw your dad and said, you know, dad, you should really work on not being so outspoken on issues, politically speaking. Did that actually happen? It did not happen. It was an absolutely ridiculous, fictitious story. That so. appeared where? It appeared in a lot of places. It, I think, started uh, here in New York news. in the Daily News, and then it was picked up everywhere. And what was so shocking about it, would it, it would have been very easy for one of the outlets to have called and actually sure. fact-checked it. And but it did, didn't. So. What did it say? 
It basically said, you know, exactly, uh, exactly what you just articulated, the fact that we asked him to effectively tone down his rhetoric, which is just not true. Mm -hmm. I think what's amazing is my father resonates with so many people. His ideas are not only respected, but sought after by large portions of the population and who would I or my brothers be to tell them to stop that. Yeah, right. I understand you did send out a, a Twitter message. Donnelly, you gotta feel great that your, your kids are coming to defend you, especially when stuff is just simply made up about you. Well, I have great kids and the reporter from this dead newspaper, it's called the Daily News in New York and it's dead, <laughs> it's boring. They actually call it the Daily Snooze because it's boring. <laughs> And this reporter knew that it wasn't true. The reporter in writing said she's not going with the article. And then after saying that, went with the article and never called my children. Because we said, do me a favor, call the children. And she never called. So she went out with it. And because it's me, unfortunately, got reported all over the world. But it was a total lie. But I have many stories written about me that are lies. So. Let me, let me ask something. Only Fox and Friends tells the truth. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> last year, I had a chance to see the, the, the Trump family Christmas, the Trump family dynamic. Yes. If Ivanka ever did come up to you and offer a suggestion, are you open to it? Are you still the dad? And what you say goes. Well, I'm always open to her suggestion. She's an amazing person. She's a great, great person. And, you know, she loves giving back and she loves helping people. And she's we're actually, talk? you know, she's actually a much better person than I am. You do understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you that's not true. Don, we're I learned it from to, him. So. Well, you do. You have a great family, and we're going to talk to Ivanka after this break about how she is giving back. In the meantime, Donald, have a fantastic week. Well, thank you very much. Don't treat her too harshly. We never do. No. <laughs> She'll Goodbye. be in the office by eight oh five. Don't worry. <laughs>